Welcome back to Motivation and Motion, Season 7, Episode 18. And just as you are about to cross the finish line, you might be getting these ideas in your head to slow down, to take it easy, to finally relax. But I encourage you to push past that finish line and to keep on running because there is no finish line in life. Yes, we might not have any time in our hourglass, but it doesn't mean that while we're still here and while we're still breathing, we get to quit and we get to take the time to relax and to be comfortable and to be complacent because that is where people die. That is where dreams fall short. That is where people lose the victorious and successful type of mindset that they can have. That is where people choose mediocrity and they don't choose abundance and success. So we need to stop quitting in life and we need to start becoming the winners that we can be and the winners that we are. How do we get there? The steps are going to be simple. Having the habits that are going to help us and to keep us moving forward having the systems in place that just makes everything autopilot. Just how you blink and just how you breathe are automatic systems. So should your success. And then the mindset, the thing that's going to help you realize exactly your limits. Because you might find that you're good at something and that you're not good at some things. But just because you're not great at everything, it doesn't mean that you are destined to fail or that you're not destined to succeed. Everyone has different strengths in themselves. So once you figure out where you shine and where you can be good at, those are the areas that you cannot quit. Those are the areas that you must make sure you always show up in. Once you figure out what you're good at, you don't quit. You make sure you show up every single time in that regard. Because if you quit in the areas where you're most influential, then that right there is going to give your subconscious an out. And the last thing we want to do is go easy on ourselves. We need to push ourselves to the limits. We need to stop quitting on ourselves. We can quit on the weak mindsets and the weak systems that were built in our life. But just because they were built in our life, it doesn't mean that we can't dismantle them. We can choose the outcome of our life. But for many people, they're going to choose the easy road. They're going to choose the opportunity to quit when they can't quit. They're going to choose just enough when enough is not enough. They're going to live in the rat race and they're going to wonder and they're going to wish and they're going to wait for luck and for someone to come save them. But no one's going to come save you. You have to be that person in your life and you have to be the person that will never quit on yourself and on the people you love. Because you have to ask yourself at the end of all this, do you want to be known as a quitter or do you want to be known as a winner? So we need to stop quitting in life and we need to start becoming the winners that we can be and the winners that we are. How do we get there? You might be getting these ideas in your head to slow down, to take it easy, to finally relax. But I encourage you to push past that finish line 